welcome to the long-awaited office tour. Y'all know that Lance and I have been working on this office since what, June? June-ish? Yeah. Yeah, somewhere around there. And it was done a couple of months ago and then the madness of pregnancy and the engagement happened. So I never got around to actually getting this out to y'all until now. So welcome to the office, come Ooh. on in. that are actually my color. Concealers, mascaras, lipsticks, all that fun stuff. I have my to-go bag for makeup. I also have some extra blow dryers that were gifted, some more bronzers and whatnot down here. As far as foundations that don't fit, don't fit me, that aren't my color, um, I actually put them in this box that I got from Burt's Bees, which was really fun because we had toothpaste gifted to us in here and it used to make these like chirping noises or sounds. But yeah, these are all the foundations that don't match my skin tone. So whenever we have people come over, you know, obviously they can take the foundation, right? This is my coming up that I used to take a lot of pictures with at my apartment. And I think I've only taken what, like two or three years mm -hmm. in the house. So I guess it just sits here. Now where you at sign. It's a little reminder of New Orleans. My waterproof Speaker that I think was gifted from like Olay or something like that. And then this Versace piggy bank that was gifted by Courtney from The Mate Choice during Essence Fest. So I'll keep some baby coins in there. This is where I get ready. The mirror is not put up yet because um, I'll explain in a little bit. But this mirror is really heavy and it needs to be mounted on the wall and I can't use command strips for that. And I'm not entirely sure that I want the mirror to go up here anymore. So that's why it's just sitting here for now. The desk I got from Target. Target. I also got this little ottoman thingy from Target, which I just use as my seat, my stool. I have my perfumes here, some jewelry in here. I have all of my <laughs> makeup brushes in here, which are dirty brushes and sponges that I need to clean. Don't ask me when I will clean them because we're just gonna have to find some time to get it done. But I guess this sort of like concludes my makeup section. So I guess if you wanna go into this area, this, I guess I made DIY poopery. These are all the flowers that Lance has ever given me mm -hmm. um, in a year. <laughs> you wanna add to this or we're just gonna stop here? You don't keep all of them. I do! These are all the ones that I kept in the beginning. So I just saved them. So if you're dating somebody and you know it's gonna go somewhere, start saving your flowers. This, if you guys remember from my last apartment, is a jewelry case. I don't know if I should open this because I don't know if it's, yeah, it's a mess in here, but I, I keep my jewelry in here. But it doubles as a mirror. Voila, yes. Then we come this way, and this is more of like the beauty stash, not so much makeup, but like skincare. To be 100% honest, when we put this together, my friend Tiffany, she also helps to organize, curate, and declutter your space, OCD NOLA. Um, I'll leave her link down in the description in case you guys are in the New Orleans and or greater New Orleans area and you're looking for somebody to help with organizing and decluttering. But anyway, she helped make all this perfectly organized. But the more brands send me stuff, the more I just shove in there. So I need to kind of like regroup these baskets, but I had them organized by, I guess, brand um, and skin type. But that's all in these baskets. This cube thing we got from Target. I wanted to find baskets that were two-toned. I wanted to find baskets that were white and brown because I kind of have a color scheme going on in here. These baskets I got from Michaels. They have different sizes, which I also used on my product wall, but these, I think, were the medium size. These baskets I got from Ikea. 
They're not as white as I want them to be, but we're just going to pretend that they're as white as they could possibly be. But yeah, this was from Target. This was actually a lot harder to put together, right babe? This was harder to put together than the Ikea bookshelves, just because it was like not stable or whatever. And I think we cracked it in one, 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 ugh, one part, but yeah, that was from Target. I got my printer here. It's a wireless printer. I got my family picture, our defensive lineman. Saints photo. We've got a picture of me and my cousin. Other like candle candles. This is probably one of my favorite scents out of the three that they sent me. So I have this one here in the office. Others are scattered around the house. I have candle holders uh, with no candles. <laughs> Just realized I don't have any candles on my candle holders. My water meter from New Orleans. It'll always remind me of home. I have my vision board, which needs to be updated because this is all 2019. And we need to update it to 2020 and include some photos of Lance because Lance had a hissy fit because he wasn't included last year. Hmm. Huh, babe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Got a plan. Yeah, he wasn't part of the plan. And look at what happened. I'm pregnant now. Great. Mm -hmm. um, got some of my favorite pictures of Honey and I. I guess we can go here. I got curtains. These curtains are from Target. I like the see through linen kind of look. I have this kind of going on around the house. So put that up. The desk. <laughs> this is sort of what the holdup was all about, was finishing the desk. We bought the desk in June, July, somewhere around there, and it was a bit of a DIY project because when we got it, we bought, a, bought it for $100 and we sanded it down, we stained it, we spray painted. These were actually like a teal blue, I think is what it was. Mm -hmm. We spray painted them a matte black. These were also kind of like a silvery color. So we painted that white, like a flat white also. It took a while, it took a couple of months, mainly just because we put it off for so long. But if you're looking for a desk, sturdy, hunky, chunky desk, Go to the thrift store and you'd be surprised at what you can find and with a little elbow grease, you can make it into whatever it is that you want. It's really, really heavy, which I think is another reason why it took so long to bring it up here because the office is on the second floor. So Lance and his cousin had to bring it up here and it was, what, you had two parts, two pieces? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The top and the bottom. The top and the bottom. Thanks, Ty. Which, yeah, thank you, Ty. So yeah, this is the desk. A couple of pieces on the desk, I guess. This I got from Tuesday morning, which is one of my favorite stores. Just kind of have a couple of important papers here. And my desk calendar that I got from Target. Kind of keeping all of my things in there. My planner, which I just got a couple of days ago, also from Target. Laptop. I got this thingy from Amazon to hold my phone up, which is what I use whenever I do my unboxings. This I think I got from Tuesday morning also, and it is just like a little calendar thingy my sister's calling. I got my money tree up here, which to be 100% honest, I just put it up here right now because it was always downstairs and I was like, I'm missing some greenery. So that's here. The rug was also from Target, I think. We got this rug from yeah, Target. Target. Very, very comfortable on the toesies. Uh, the dogs like to come up here now and just lay on it. Tula likes to lay in the front. Lexi likes to um, lay on my feet. This chair was actually Lance's aunt's chair and it was brown, I think. Mm -hmm. So I painted it black. This is the original seating, what like cushion thing that it was. So I just figured I'd leave it. So yeah, I guess that, that covers this area. We have some of Lance's papa stuff. Lance got this, what is it, sword? Yeah. He got this sword from his papa. And his papa uh, gave me this, which is his Super Bowl hat. He knew I was a big Saints fan. So um, we keep that here. That covers this part. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We have the product wall. This is where I keep a lot of the products. Actually, in my apartment, y'all know well, if you followed when I was living in my apartment, I had like this little nook on the second floor of the apartment. And they were all just shoved in either boxes or like little big cubes in there. And it was really hard to find products. And I had noticed that other curly influencers were actually keeping like a product stash in different ways. I saw a lot of bookshelves, which I thought would probably be most ideal for us in our space because the way this room was, there's like this little, you know, like little, little bitty nook. So I was like, what would be perfect here? And I thought bookshelves. So these bookshelves are actually from Ikea. 
their Billy bookshelves. I was trying to think of the best way to fit as many bookshelves as I can, and there are two different sizes. So this is like the traditional Billy shelves. And then this is, I think it's also the Billy bookshelf, but like in a smaller size. And these three fit perfectly in this space. There's like a little bit of wiggle room here, so I'm hiding some Christmas wrappers in there. But for the most part, I think the products fit. So I have mainly hair products here. Some of the products that I have here are some of my favorite brands. Others have been gifted through PR boxes that I've tried. Some of them are just like, you can see what some of my favorites are. Some of them are no longer on the shelves for specific reasons. We'll cover that in another video. I also have the same baskets that you remember from the skincare area. These again are from Michaels and I just keep some miscellaneous stuff. So I have some brushes and caps and stuff in here. Hair ties, hair pins, clips, all that stuff. Here are my random products. These are, I guess, products that I don't have tied to like a specific brand. And then here I have like my flexi rods and curl formers diffusers, extra diffusers, and conditioning caps. If there is a brand that you see here that you haven't seen a video review on, let me know. Let me know because I'm gonna be doing more reviews rather than tutorials and hairstyles and stuff like that when it comes to the YouTube channel, just because I know that I owe you guys a lot of reviews. Some reviews that you guys can expect in the coming I guess like in this month would be Curl Keeper, Mono's Hair, Unwash, and Cantu. I think those are on my creative calendar for January for the moment. But yeah, if there's anything you see here that you wanna see, let me know. I have my YouTube plaque from making 100,000 subscribers. Yay, me. <laughs> I have my Thick Law Award for Best Beauty Content Creator from 2018. I have my favorite piggy bank. I don't think Lance knows about this one. I have my favorite piggy bank from Mexico. Like yeah, so I know about that one. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have my pictures from my, you know, my thingy. Some other New Orleans stuff. New Orleans, I mean, Louisiana. Black, I think I got this from the Fina shop, which is one of my favorite stores in New Orleans, which I'll leave a link to that too. A photo of the plaque that sat above my grandmother's front door in Mexico. Every time I see it, it always reminds me of her. Obviously because it's from her house. May she rest in peace. And then the Mayan calendar. I mean, the Aztec calendar. I forget. The, <laughs> it makes me sound like a horrible Latina. Okay, let's go this way. And then we have my most prized possession. I'm a little disappointed because this season, I feel like Kamara didn't really perform as great as he normally does. Um, but this is a signed Kamara jersey. He signed it for me when I was working at Louis Vuitton. I got it framed and I wanted the theme of this room color-wise to match the jersey. So we got lots of blacks, browns, whites, tans, a little bit of gold here and there. That is my office. It won't be here much longer. Remember Baby's how, coming. Huh? Baby's coming. Yeah, baby's coming. Remember how I told y'all I didn't want to put this up? Because I don't know if it's gonna stay there and it needs to be mounted on the wall. And I don't know if it's gonna go there. This desk, as heavy as it is, is actually gonna have to be brought back downstairs, right, Lance? Yes. Yep. Yep. This is gonna be the nursery. We found out we were expecting what, like a couple of weeks after this was completely done. Mm -hmm. This was done and we had our Saints watching party and the family came over and everybody was like, oh, you know. What about when the baby comes? And we're like, no, there's not gonna be a baby anytime soon. And then a week and a half later, two weeks, I took a pregnancy test and I was pregnant. And I was like, I just finished the office and now we're gonna have to redo it. So look at everything now <laughs> because the next video you see in here is probably gonna be completely different. So if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in a comment below, again, if there is a product that you would like to see reviewed on this channel, let me know what it is. Also, let me know what you think about the office. And if you have some ideas for the nursery, I'd love to see them. I'm a really big pinner on Pinterest for nursery stuff right now. So if you have any ideas, let me know and I can maybe get inspired with stuff like that. You can find me on Instagram at Reese's Rizzo's, at 
Reese's Rizzo's. I share a lot of stuff about the pregnancy right now, about our engagement, because we're getting married in two months now. And yeah, I think that's basically it. I love y'all. Un besito. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Sorry I'm dressed like this, y'all. This is the only thing that fits me right now. <laughs>